five. Okay, here we go. This is Ray. He's going to pull something out of the box here at Motormouth Radio. We're going to find out what it is, because I don't know. He's talking about his his code that he has on the Mazda, a lean code that's getting worse. So here we go. Here's Ray. Ta-da. First, here's how you survive a concert in a bar when you're old. You, you, what are those? Hand these out. What are those? Prophylactics? What earplugs. Are those? Oh, earplugs. <laughs> Man, save my life. Wow. I would be right now. Right now, my ears would be like, beep. Yes. So I checked the Mazda and I pull the the air tube that goes from the air box where the air cleaner is right. up to the mass airflow sensor. You've seen these? Yes, of course I have. Well, have you seen one that you could do this to? Uh, no, they usually don't split like that. <laughs> so, there is your PL 171 wow. code air leak. Oh, Marona Mia. Let me look at that. Hold on. Let me get in there. there hey, go. it looks like an old Sesame yeah, we'll Street put, character. We'll put the jackal bar stool yeah. to show. <laughs> yeah, they don't work that well when they have a big gaping hole in them. So that manifested itself now when I checked the car again with my code scanner. found I had a PO300 code, which is a random misfire. The codes just keep on coming. So I went into my stash bin and I pulled out my old... It's not a Telefunken U47. No, it isn't. It's a UF407. Oh, boy. Not one of those. Joe D knows what that is. Yes. It's a uh, coil-on plug coil. Okay. I had this spare from when I worked on that car last time with that problem. Right. I'm good. This is, a- this is after the show's job. I ended up going out and buying this tester that Joe D likes to use. This is a good one. See what this look is? at that. It looks, yeah, what is that? It's an ignition tester. Okay, yes, that's what it says, but what does it, let me What get you do to is that. you ground this, this clip gets grounded. Okay, there's a clip at the end of it. It looks like, it almost looks like a hypodermic needle. The spark plug wire gets connected to here onto this. Okay. So it'd be like this, pretty much. Right. And you can change this gap. You see, you have this thumb wheel. You can change the gap. Now, yes. SE is standard ignition. And then it's rated for like, you know, 10, 20, 30. It goes up in, in a kilovolt range by 10 millimeter increments. Right. So you have a, um, a 12 k, uh, 2 kV, 3 kV, and 4 kV. So that's the kilovolt range of the plug firing. Okay, so it would be on the top of this hypodermic needle looking thing, and you would put the... And the spark will jump in here. Oh, come on. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, because you have the spark plugs on here. It's grounded. Oh, of course, this yeah. This is where you're going to see the spark. And it's plastic, I'm assuming, so it's, it's non-conductive. It's like phenolic. It's all phenolic. Ah, uh, phenolic. So when you, you can look at the, the, the intensity of the spark, or no spark, and diagnose that that coil and or that wire or that cylinder is uh, dead. That's that pretty wire. nifty. So I'll be, this is after shows, this is the after show thing. Right. And we do have a call. Okay, so we're going to, so we're going to close wrap it. this. All right, wrap it up, Ray Ray. Take our jackal seat and our coil, Good and we'll boy. go back to uh, All right. the fun. We're going to answer the phone now. Bye. Answer the phone.